Hey everyone, I just wanted to take a quick moment to explain what I'm looking for here. Uh, let me give you the fast version. So, we've got these first three figures, and uh, you know, we kind of extend it out to the fourth and the fifth uh, figure, and we know that we add three every time, right? So, we were asking ourselves, what about figure 21? How many squares does it have? Uh, so the quick version is, I could do 20 times 3 plus 7, okay? And that'll work for any, uh, you know, any figure. I could, I could do for figure 75, I could do 74 times 3 plus 7, okay? And I think all that makes sense, and I'll explain it more in a second in the longer version. But uh, we could also go with 21 times 3, right? 21 like the figure 21 times 3 plus 4. Okay. And this also will work for whatever figure you want. Okay, It'll work for figure, let's do figure 5. 21 times 5 plus 4. Uh, or sorry, not 21 times 5. 5 times 3. The figure number is here, times 3. So 5 times 3 is 15 plus 4, 19. Oh, that's, it also works there. So whether we take 1 less than the figure number times 3 plus 7 for the original number of blocks in the first figure, or the figure number times the change plus this four, it still works. So the, the homework is, what's up with the four? Like how can I, why can I do that? What is the, how do I make that make sense? Like I can make this make sense, okay? So if this makes sense to you because you understand why we would use one less than the figure number, why this is a three, why we would add seven, then the homework assignment, just explain why does this work as well, okay? If you still aren't sure, it's, I guess the assignment is the same, but let me help you understand the question even a little more. So from figure one to figure two is one step. And maybe I should write that uh, here or something. From figure one to figure two is one step. From figure one to figure three is two steps, right? two steps. From figure one to figure five is only four steps. One, two, three, four. Okay? So if, if that pattern continues, which it definitely makes sense that it should, to get to figure 21, it should only take 20 steps, right? It takes one fewer step to get to whatever the figure number is. Okay? By that I mean to get to figure 5, it takes one less step than 5. It takes four steps. To get to four, figure 4, it only takes three steps, one fewer step uh, than the number of the figure. So if it takes 20 steps uh, and this pattern continues of adding three every time, right, like this white one, if I add on this guy here, here, and here, right, here's exactly what the white one looks like, add on these three, we get the second one. And we add on a three here, 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 right, this, this uh, part that I haven't put pen on is exactly what the green guy looks like, and we add three more, we get this orange one, we get the third figure. So if I were to continue to do this, if I put one here, here, and here, get the fourth figure, and so on and so on. So we add three every time, right? So every time we take a step, we add on three more. Let me get a lighter color pen. We add on three more, we add on three more. If I were to go another step to figure four, I'd add on three more, and so on. Every time I take a step, I add three. Let's, for example, take a step, you know, take a big leap, actually, from uh, one, two, four, so figure one to figure four. So that's gonna take three steps. Every time I take a step, I add three. So I could add three, get the answer, add three, get the answer, add three, get the answer, and I'd get 16. Or I could just take one giant leap, go all the way from here to four. I know that's three steps. Every step is worth three blocks added. Three times three, right? I'm just gonna add on nine. Well, that's nine. Nine is not the number of blocks. We have to add on the original seven. Right? We have to add the seven that we started with. Seven plus these extra nine get us to 16. So we add seven, we add seven, we get to 16. Uh, if I were to go to step five, right, figure five, I would take a giant leap. I know that would take four steps times the three blocks for every one step plus the seven. So here we go. To extend it all the way out to figure 21. It only takes 20 steps. Three blocks are added every step I take. Okay, so I take 20 steps, each worth three blocks. 20 times three, that's 60, plus the seven that we started with, 
right? The 60 we added on by going one, two, three, and we add one, two, three more, and then one, two, three more, just like we were, were seeing in these first three figures. So we get 60 plus seven is 67 for the 21st figure. But 21 times three is 63 plus four, it also gives us 67. Okay, and as I showed you with figure five, this works for any other figure number. I could put the figure number here times three plus four, and it still works. So what is up with this plus four? It doesn't seem to make any sense. I don't see four anywhere here. This has seven blocks. We go up by three. So what's going, what's, where's this four coming from? I can see the sense in this. 20 steps, three blocks added per step plus seven original blocks. That makes sense, but I, I just don't know how to make sense of this four. Or I'm pretending that I don't understand why this four could work, okay? It's your job to come up with a good explanation of that, okay? So thanks for watching all that, and uh, I'll see you next time.